Hello, in this video we are going to customize our start menu. We can access the start menu by clicking on the white Windows icon and then we get our start menu. Is I am going to right click on some of these games and remove them. When I right click I have the ability to uninstall some of the apps that we see here and I will choose to do that for all apps that I will not be using. We have to give it a couple of seconds. In order to do that, you will right click on the icon, go to uninstall, say yes for this app and its related info to be uninstalled. I will continue to do that for the applications I do not want on this computer. You will run across apps that cannot be uninstalled. When you right click on that app and uninstall is not an option, you can simply unpin from start. You will notice that I am uninstalling McAfee. McAfee is a very resource intensive product that we choose not to use. Now I will also remove power to go and I'm going to unpin it because I'm not sure I want to delete the software and I'm going to unpin the power to go. I'm going to move the calculator over to the create tab and now we're going to look at the separate categories that are listed on the start menu. You will see that the top category says create and I'm going to change this to life at a glance. These are just apps that I use. Next, we are going to go to the app list on the left. We're going to find the audio scribe folder. We're going to click on the down arrow and we're going to find our audio scribe application. In this instance, I have SpeechCat. You may have Digitran, Pro, Digitran Lite, Remote Scopist, or Transcriptionist. If you right click on your application and pin to start, it's going to add it to the start menu. For the purpose of your AudioScribe applications, we are just going to pin a few items to our start menu based on what we may need. We're going to scroll down and find the Dragon folder, click on the down arrow, and find Dragon. We're going to right click and pin that to start. We'll scroll down. If we have Transcript CNI, we will go to the GS Cubed folder, find Transcript CNI, right click and pin to start. Next we're going to be looking for Microsoft Word or WordPerfect. So we're going to scroll down to the W's and we're going to find Word. We're going to right click and pin to start. If you do not have Word, you should have a WordPerfect folder here. Click on the down arrow and find the WordPerfect application. Right click and pin to start. And for now, this is all we will pin. We're going to click on the name group and we're going to call this Port Reporter Feel free to name it based on your occupation. I like to have the icons in a particular order 
So I'm going to move Google Chrome down and I'm going to move SpeechCat to the first position in this group. I'm going to move Skype down and I'm going to move Dragon to the next position in this group. And because I use Microsoft Word, I will move it to the next position. I'm going to move up WordPerfect because that is important. And then I'm going to move up Google Chrome. Skype is something that we use here in our office and I need to have on my start menu. Click on Court Reporter and I'm going to drag it above Life at a Glance. Because the court reporting items are most important to my everyday work. And that is how you customize your start menu and start tiles. Thank you and have a great day.